Hello, Tatsi. Bonjour. Good morning. And welcome to Pow Wow Dance Aerobics. It's a little bit of a late start today, but uh, either way, it's better late than never. I'm uh, ready to go. I was up uh, earlier, but I just decided to work out a little bit before the class, prepare. There's a lot of preparation involved in, in doing uh, such a class, and uh, especially when I uh, go live on uh, Facebook, it's different than just doing it on my own. Uh, when I'm on my own, I just usually just jump right into it, and it's uh, a lot easier that way. But uh, as for this, I like to take my time and make the time and the effort necessary, even just to comb my hair a little bit and uh, get the, the bed head out. Anyways, I uh, hope you guys are doing good, so good morning. Uh, this is Pow Wow Dance Aerobics, this is a daily class, and we're gonna get started here right quick. So, the best uh, way to get started is just to get started. So, anyways, I hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are ready to go. So, we're gonna start off with a warm up first. And I uh, got these weights, these are, these are my weights I use for um, exercising. And you can, you can take them when you go for a walk or you go for a jog. They're really good addition to your actual workout. And um, they're, they're really awesome. Like they're, they're only two pounds, so they're not very heavy. You can get them at Walmart for like 15 bucks. They're really good. But anyways, let's get started. Starting off with the basic step, the right, left, one, two step. That's the very basic step of pow wow. And even when you're a dancer dancing into the grand entry and pow wow, this is the basic step you follow. Every dancer going into the pow wow arbor, we always do this basic step. So once you get into that basic step, it's basically you're warming up. You're warming up to do your, your dance, your grand entry. Remember, this is not only just about pow wow dancing, this is also about fitness as well. So if you guys are into fitness and all those great activities, then definitely this class is for you. This class is for everybody. So if you guys are following along, let's get dancing. So basic step, right, left, one, two, step. And now let's put it a step up. Say you're dancing into the pow wow, into the grand entry, and and you can just feel the energy of the other dancers, the audience. You gotta be able to feel that in your dance as motivation to dance a little bit harder. So here's dancing a little bit harder with basic step up. As you notice, may or not notice, I put in a little bit of hop into my step with that basic step, that one, two step. So here we go, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 one, two, three, four, five. All right. So when the beat stops, gotta stop with that beat. <laughs> so we'll do a couple more songs for the warm up. Okay, so keep that basic step going. Just like in grand entry, when the drum is beating, you wanna keep going. You might have a brief little stop and then you pick it up again. Keep going. Just like if you're jogging and you come across an obstacle, well, you gotta take your time, take a break for a minute. And same thing with power dancing. So now, as we get a little bit more intense into it, let's try some, uh, some knee kicks. Just like that, lift your leg. And that'll work out these abdominal, lower abdominal muscles, as well as you're working out your thigh and your calf. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, 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 five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four
some crossover knee leg lifts just like this one two three four five six seven eight 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 one I'm warmed up, I'm sweating, and I think we achieved our goal of warming up and exercising. This is the best way to start your day. If you've got a job, if you've got other things to do, I understand, but maybe it's time to, to uh, incorporate a new habit, because if you do have a physically demanding job, the best thing you can do for yourself is work out before you go to that job, because you're not only gonna be more productive, you're gonna feel great throughout your day, you're going to um, decrease the uh, chance or possibility of an injury, and you're going to notice <laughs> the energy level opposed to just sluggishly going to work. And that's something I learned in my early 20s, is um, basically, when I, when I went to uh, work as a young man, I didn't do any of these things and eventually I did get hurt. And it wasn't until I got hurt and I was hurt so bad that I couldn't work anymore 
and then I, re I tried all kinds of therapies, physiotherapy, I tried all types of medication, and it didn't work. There's no medication that can fix a broken body, really. It's your body yourself. Your, if you have a sore body and whatnot from working, or you've injured yourself, the best way or the best medicine is rehabilitation, always. So, anyways, uh, I was just sort of sharing that today because my my girlfriend has a sore back today, and um, she was working all day yesterday, and she didn't take breaks. And you know, if you understand ergonomics, people or everybody, you know, if you understand the, the concept of ergonomics. Basically what ergonomics is, is having proper posture when you're working in an office situation, you're on a computer all day. It's recommended that you, every 20 minutes, you get up out of your seat and have a little stretch, have a little, have a little five minute break or whatever, and that can make a world of difference and save you from having a sore back, save you from having carpal tunnel in your fingers. It can save a lot of different things and relieve those things in your body. Just those simple principles and practices. So de definitely look up ergonomics, ergonomics, proper ergonomics in, in any work situation. So I just wanted to share that with you. So now um, I want to do some stretching. So now that we've warmed up and I've kind of went through that, I want to do some stretching. So you always want to warm up first before you stretch. Because you never want to stretch when your muscles are cold. Because if your muscles are cold and you're stretching, you're basically going to do a little bit more damage than, um, than uh, yeah, it's not good to to stretch cold. And uh, I have sometimes my friends work out with me, and uh, we go for a jog, and they're like, "Aren't you going to stretch first? I'm like, "No, no, 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 no. Let's let's jog for about 10, 15 minutes, and and uh, then we'll do a we'll stretch because. When you stretch your muscles cold, you're more than likely to tear something, to injure something, and it's not the greatest feeling in the world when you tear a muscle. I've, I've been there myself. I've torn and injured myself a few times, so now I know, and uh, with, with knowledge and practice, I know that this works. So let's uh, lock our fingers together. Try to pull them apart. Like Try to put all your energy in pulling your, your fingers apart, and you'll feel in the back of your back, your upper back, your shoulders, you're gonna feel that, that uh, stretch. And then give it a slight twist from left to right, right to left, and you'll feel that stretch work its all the way down, work its way all the way down to your lower back and your lumbar, even your hips, you can feel that. Even your knees, right down your knees. Sometimes when my knees are sore, this really helps doing the stretch because it works it mystery, mysteriously all the way down to your your core muscles and everything like that because your muscles are a network that are connected all through different joints and tissues and tendons and it's really important to to know your body and the more you do this you're just gonna know your body and know what your body's capable of and doing this on a regular basis helps to keep you regular and keep your body regulated and healthy and that's why I do it and that's why I I willingly share this on a volunteer basis you know I don't expect nothing from anybody for this class even though I do appreciate donations or stars people have been sending me stars and that's really great that that feels good you know like when you're not expecting something and then all of a sudden somebody gives you something so thank you all so much for for sharing that with me as well as sharing your story and your comments so we're gonna continue on with the stretches so stretching with the neck muscles here now and uh, you just need to let the weight of your head do this one and you only need about 10 seconds per stretch like I know I do this pretty much routinely every day but it's an everyday activity you know we need exercise like we need food you know when you're hungry you eat right and what a lot of people forget to do is is to exercise you know it's a lot easier to just say oh i just want to get lazy and lay on the couch and you know i don't I, you know i i want to i want to relax after a good meal but you know what really works good if you exercise really hard and then build up to your 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 hunger a little bit to to enjoy that meal you enjoy it that much more when you exercise and kind of um, reward yourself with with a with a meal after a good exercise a good workout so anyways we're going to continue on with a few more stretches now stretching out the core simply by putting your hands behind your head 
and your elbow is up like this, you want to aim this elbow to your knee. And sometimes I get a little click or I hear a little crack like in my spine or in some of my joints. Don't be alarmed or worried about it because it's just your body realigning itself and releasing some of the tension in those joints that may have occurred throughout the night or through the day. I always say working out in the morning is best because it sets the tone for your day. It sets, it sets a forward motion to your day, not only psychologically, but physically, like your body physiology as well. You can notice a big difference opposed to working out in the evening. You're at the end of your day. You should be relaxing. But if you are on a workout program, some workout programs work out better in the evenings. And that's fine, but I definitely recommend a nice little 20 to 30 minute workout in the mornings before you start your day because it, it helps helps your, your heart, everything function in a really efficient way. Especially like if you got a stressful job to do or you know you you uh, live throughout the day and I just heard them on the news this morning talking about heart and strokes in men and women and uh, you know women uh, have strokes too, right? They're talking about that and how like uh, men are typically stereotyped as the only ones to have heart sh uh, strokes or heart attacks and and it's not true like anybody's uh, anybody's actually um, susceptible to having a stroke or a heart attack but working out definitely will prevent that working out and stretching will definitely uh, decrease your chances of ever having any ailments whatsoever and on top of that it's about diet too right so you got to pay attention to the foods that you eat less processed foods and more organic foods uh, myself one of my favorite foods is Asian food yesterday I actually went and got myself some pho I really like pho it's basically rice noodles and um, a bone marrow broth and simply just just really lean chicken I me and my girlfriend shared a, a bowl of it yesterday it was with uh, a saute peanut sauce and there's uh, cilantro in there fresh cut green onions and sprouts and that's all there is to it it's a really simple meal and it's really delicious i really thoroughly enjoyed it and you know that's the thing about food you gotta know exactly what you're eating i try to not eat any craft dinner if anything I'll, ha I'll have a little tiny portion but i make sure to have something healthy with it like some lean meat like just just uh, chop up some sausage or have some vegetables or salad or you know it's great to mix it up and definitely I recommend taking uh, multivitamins because multivitamins are uh, really good for your health so anyways uh, I'm just gonna continue on with the uh, workout do a couple more of these definitely if you're in the office or something like that bring this with you if you're going to have that break take a break and maybe do some stretches and some strength training exercises you'll feel a pump on doing this so definitely do this I, I, I heard a little click there so I definitely needed that I did some of these this morning with 25 pound weights now this is probably the equivalent of lifting maybe 15 pounds I'm guessing and if you want more resistance you can definitely step on this elastic and shorten these lengths to make them a little bit more so it's like you're lifting 20 pounds now instead of 15 pounds and you do as many of these as you can to where it starts to burn you'll feel the burn right in your muscle you'll feel that 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 tension that burn that pump you're gonna feel that in your muscle if you if you follow this this activity this exercise as well as you can do uh, some nice shoulder raises this will help to define and strengthen your shoulder muscles simply by doing this activity so you do this and it only it really only literally takes five minutes for a cycle you want to do it in a cycle because if you just do one set and walk away it's it, it does it is effective it's better than doing nothing but you want to like do a cycle of these so that's what I do in the basement in the mornings in my little workout gym 
I do a little cycle where I'll do bicep curls and I will do some some squats with uh, shoulder presses with dumbbells it's a cool activity I showed you guys this before so these are just the cycle that I I would recommend going through you know doing your tricep muscles your shoulder muscles your bicep muscles and doing this cycle will definitely increase and enhance your strength so the activity I was talking about with doing the uh, squats and shoulder presses basically what you do is you hold your your weights at your shoulder level and you're gonna squat down like this one and up and two up and you do 10 of those and that will strengthen your thigh muscles your butt muscles you're gonna feel that in your triceps and shoulder muscles those really burn and you do like a couple sets of those per day you're gonna see the results there and just amazing so anyways um, <clears throat> I'm going to do some push-ups so if you guys want to uh, join in on that it's it's really fun and it's really a great challenge and it's also part of the 25 push-up challenge you can hashtag that you can nominate your friends and family to do that and it's great in here you're gonna feel great it's upper body strength you're strengthening those chest muscles tricep muscles and I do them every day and I'm noticing a big difference my chest muscles are, are getting more defined they're getting strong I'm feeling strong in my upper body and you want to feel strong because you feel great it increases your confidence so definitely try it out now I'm gonna try the Mel Robbins five second rule and you should look that up and she has a book on it you definitely check that out you know if you're interested in um, self-help or self uh, motivation uh, material and books check out Mel Robbins she's really good uh, she has this book called the five second rule basically what it is is the psychological brain trick that she uses that basically it, it almost tricks the mind but it's not tricking the mind it's more like it, it sets the mind the mind has an instinct to go on five four three two one so that's what the five second rule is so five four three two one let's do 25 push-ups here we go one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, and twenty-six. All right. So there's my twenty-five push-ups. Now. Um, I'm just gonna do a couple more dance songs. And remember, you you can keep your exercise routine if it's well organized. You can keep it down to 20 to 30 minutes. And you can do that even three times a day. It's like having three meals a day but three exercises per day. You don't need to sit in the gym for an hour and a half or three hours like Olympian training. It's just basically conditioning yourself and having a healthy routine like that will definitely produce results for you. So, let's dance it off now. Nice, easy song. Start off with that basic step again. And the beautiful thing about powwow music is you can kind of let your body sing along with it. And it's really beautiful when you connect the melody and the beat with your body and that rhythm goes through your bloodstream as well and the, the beautiful thing about our dancing is it's healing it's got a lot of healing to it because when we dance we dance for mother earth we dance for our family we dance for the people and that's the beauty of it the beauty of indigenous style dancing power dancing it's all about healing for the self for the environment for the people and it's very beautiful to be part of that very empowering so let's get dancing now we're gonna step it up a notch so do some simple heel toe activity just to mix it up a little bit challenge yourself so now i'm just on my tippy toe one side and heel toe heel toe you switch five six seven eight one two three four and one two three four five six seven 
counting. Eight, switch. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And switch. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Switch. So with right hand, you want to aim for your left foot. It's good to twist. You're going to get a total body workout from this. So five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, off now with a cool down so remember keep your workout simple and well organized mine is a little bit different because I'm teaching and telling at the same time it's a little different than just focusing on myself so what I recommend is uh, have some uh, good workout music like Apple music or uh, there's different uh, music platforms like Spotify or Google Play or I use Apple Music, iTunes, because I'm an Apple guy. I'm kind of an Apple nerd. All my devices are Apple. So on Apple, though, what I like about Apple Music is you can go and they have playlists. So they have uh, at the top of the playlist, they have a workout playlist. So they have them based on genres. So they'll have like a dance music playlist. They'll have a hip hop playlist, a country playlist, and they're all workout songs, like songs that people consider as workout songs that are recommended by the millions of listeners that they have on their channel. As well as you can put on some powwow music. You know, I like pow. Every time I hear powwow music, I want to dance. But when you're working out, you might want to try something different, like a different kind of rhythm. Like some of those songs. They're really like, they pump you up. Like, you know, if you listen to Queen, you know, we will, we will rock you. Or if you listen to, uh, you know, some of their songs, you know, another one bites the dust or we are the champions. You know, stuff like that is really stuff that you'll resonate with and connect with and motivate with. You know, besides doing powwow, you know, I love the powwow dance. And like I said before, it's very healing for the body, for the soul. And it's really great. So yeah, I feel great. I'm I'm alive. I'm I'm here for another day. I'm really grateful. Also, uh, check out the uh, the powwow, the uh, social distance powwow. They have some amazing apparel, and they have some amazing talented artists, dancers, singers, drummers, 
MCs, all of them, are just beautiful. Like I've been saying from day one when I started this class, you know, the, uh, the social distance powwow is an amazing movement. It's an amazing um, group to be connected with, and I'm so grateful and, and thankful for what they do for Whitney, for, for Dan, the whole powwow, the, the whole powwow family and how we're all connecting online to keep our traditions alive. It's just amazing, like even all the other artists that have went above and beyond to create classes like mine as well. There's several different artists out there. Uh, you know, there's definitely one or two of them that I'm sure you'll connect to in more ways than you can even imagine. So thanks again for joining me for another version of Pow Wow Dance Aerobics. And if you want to, want to do more cardio or more Pow Wow, definitely I recommend um, checking out like on the, the beautiful thing about technology is you can go online, you can get an album from Young Bear, or you can get uh, Young Spirit, or Northern Cree, or if you're down south and you like southern style, there's the Yellowtail Singers, there's the, uh, there's the Oklahoma, uh, geez I can't remember all their names, uh, there's uh, definitely their Scissor Tail, there's Midnight Express, there's Kozads, Kozads is is definitely a legendary southern style group and I apologize if I forgot any of them or there's the classic groups like Ayabe, Ayabe is like kind of an older generation group but their their tunes are like considered classic uh, beats, classic music, classic powwow music if you will so anyways um, I'm gonna sign off for the day and uh, yeah I appreciate each and every one of you for what you have to share with me and you know I'm always I'm always uh, committed to this every day and I'm always going to do this class and try to improve myself that much more every day. That's what my relentless pursuit in life is and I just share that with you on a volunteer basis. So thanks again. And if you find this message of value, definitely you can share this. Also check me out on YouTube. I'm on YouTube, TikTok, or um, Dallas Arcan on Instagram, 3X World Champion, Hoop Dancer on there as well. So thanks again for joining me and you guys have a beautiful blessed day. We'll see you again soon. Peace out.